Welcome back to Ferocious Education. This is Ed. Today I'm going to be talking about BioCEP with a ticker going with BioC. So we're going to be taking a quick look into different things here in order to try to anticipate the next movement for the stock. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to take the three months, one day period. Um, and we're going to be taking a look at two things here. First is the volume, the unbalance volume as well. And then I'm going to be taking a quick look into different uh, indicators so the first indicator i want to take a look at is the average directional index that's a little bit too high coming in above 45 now above 50 is considered more of the sell point for myself um and 40 this is coming in around 49 which kind of gets me a little bit more of a dangerous level so if you're holding this and you wrote it up then it might be time to sell based on this indicator alone now going to the william percent r this shows in uh, a little bit of an overbought stock so that's a little bit dangerous as well so that's the second red flag that i'm seeing in terms of momentum the stock has seen a good amount of momentum but the last time it has seen it into this level was around here now this is very important you can see around here we see as well an increase in volume that is almost quite identical to what we're seeing right now and we can see that it has moved almost the exact same way and received a pullback the day before uh, we can also see a massive spike almost in the same magnitude as we see right now so those are three different red flags that i see here of course the average does look amazing here uh, although it's above the 200 sma which is considered a little bit expensive and you, see, uh, you can see that once it jumps in a little it kind of gets a drawback but this is a pharma play so it's a bit more hyped up but again around april ish We've seen this jump before um, and around March, we've seen a little bit of decline going forward. We did have a bit of jumps, but I'll go through this in a little bit here closer. So going to the one month, one day, we can get to see um, a little bit of movement here. It was supposed to see maybe perhaps a pullback sometime um, on Friday, but that has not happened. It has kind of pushed forward. Uh, volume is high. Um, let's look into the one month, one hour period. That's going to be looking a little bit ugly. Oh, and by the way, there is as well uh, support uh, that has occurred here and here again. And that's around 0.59 to 0.6, I would say. Uh, maximum, I would say, the support is sitting at is around 0.61. So around 0.61 is your support. Um, in terms of resistance, let me just take a quick look at the three months one day. Uh, I don't see any resistances in the three months period and it seems to have had its all time high for the last three months. Now looking into the one month, one hour period, things will look a little bit ugly here. Um, I'm going just to look at the MACD and I'm going to go switch to another graph that looks a little bit better, but you can see there's a massive jump in terms of the unbalanced volume. Uh, we can see that the MACD is starting to decline and the signal line and the MACD is actually touching, which is very dangerous because if it flips, that will redirect you to a negative impact. And we can see this here. Once it switched, it dipped. It did pretty hard. Uh, the blue above the green, uh, the red is a good sign. So that might be something we're going to be seeing. So uh, let's take a quick look into uh, perhaps trend lines here. So what is the trend line for this? We're going to do the six months one day. I'm going to try to do a channel here. This appears to be the trend line that I would say is sustainable. Uh, now, if I was to increase it to this here, it might not follow through because there's only one single uh, resistance. So I'll just more off do it somewhere around this area here. And you can see it's way above that and has corrected itself before. So in terms of trend lines, this looks, looks a little bit rough. Now, uh, let's look into terms of moving averages. In terms of moving averages, we can see that the moving average here on a six months period, we're just going to do actually three months, one day. <clears throat> you can see that every time it has gone above it or below it, it has redirected to the moving average. Uh, we can see as well that uh, so the moving average is here. It's the CN color with the purple in the middle that it's way above it. So what I expect is a massive pullback in the coming days that would redirect it back. So what I'm looking at is something similar to this. You can see, as I said, the volumes are almost identical to what has happened. Um, and when a lot of people get into this stock and in massive volumes, what you have is a lot of people that are holding the stock, a lot of people that bought already, and not enough new buyers coming in 
uh, for these sellers to maintain a good selling price. And so the price becomes no longer lucrative and then uh, a massive sell-off occurs afterwards. So that's been a little bit of what my I feel the stock is going forward with. Uh, now, in terms of coming into uh, the 200 SMA, you can see it has actually gone quite a far off from it. Uh, in terms of the moving, in terms of the VWAP, uh, it's not even populating it. But let me try to do the three month, uh, one month, one. Nope, it does not. One month, one hour. Okay. So the VWAP is insufficient in this case as it does not show much information but that's been a little bit of a review um i've gone through everything now in terms of news uh i don't see any new news uh in fact there's a little bit of something that has been a little bit of a bit of a red point for me so llc and trust sold um not a lot of their stocks but just a very small amount at 0.5578 whether that is to try to manipulate the price at the time or they just wanted to decrease their position when they see that the price has come almost double what they've had bought uh they previously sold it at and they still hold quite a bit of shares left so around 4112 867 so not an insane amount because a lot of people who are actually just doing retail hold a lot more than that uh but we might see perhaps a selling uh from these institutions that might trigger uh, a panic sell from other people so that's basically the latest news there's not a lot of news other than the catalyst being covid being high although the, they're not working directly into uh covid vaccine so it's more of just a pharma catalyst that has been advancing so that's been my review uh let me know what other stickers you want me to dd in the comments below subscribe like and share if you like this video thank you and have a wonderful day